Hey guys, what is going on? It's Cameron here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix these errors that pop up while you're playing Fortnite. Have you ever just played Fortnite and then all of a sudden you get this message on the screen? It says Fortnite is closed unexpectedly or Fortnite error has occurred, the application has hung and will now close. With those errors, they're all revolving around a similar issue. And today's video is going to go into depth on how exactly you can fix this. There's actually a few different steps that you can try and if you guys do every single one in this video, a hundred percent it'll fix all your issues in Fortnite. If you guys go on to enjoy this video and it helps solve a lot of your problems, make sure to download no ping. I have a link to it down in the description. What it does is it makes your ping like non-existent. I usually get about 70 pings. I'm about a thousand miles away from the Fortnite servers. But actually when I use no ping guys, it brought my ping from 70 down to 20 ping without having to go through a bunch of hoops for only like five bucks a month. It's fantastic. If you guys haven't used it yet, you don't even need a payment card. It has a free trial. You just download it in the link I gave you. Also, it's an affiliate, so it does help the channel, which I really appreciate. For the first step today, guys, we're just going to make sure that your computer is optimized. So there's a couple ways you can do this. But the first thing you want to go ahead and double check is your utilization in the game. So first, you're just going to open Task Manager. Easiest way to do that is just type it in down here. So once you get that bad boy popped up here, you're gonna look at your stats here. You got your CPU, your RAM or memory, and disk and network utilization. Usually these two will cause your app to, to hang or to force close if they're extremely high. So if you find out that they're super high, you gotta kinda fix the problem here. Now obviously I got Streamlabs and OBS. Those are two apps I'm using to record this video, so we need those. If you see any in here that just don't belong and you're not sure why they're in here, you need to just close them out. Now I have a bunch of tabs open in Google Chrome, so maybe that's why this is showing so many Google Chrome ones. Now don't delete anything that you recognize in here or even some of the stuff you don't really recognize for that matter because a lot of these things are required to run in the background and as you go down the list they're using less and less resources and don't really matter. But if you have a background app that's using a bunch of performance, we don't have any in here right now. Um, just delete them and then that should help with your issue. While on that same subject here, we want to make sure there aren't any other background apps running that run normally. So just type in background in here and you're going to look for background apps. It's right here at the top. So we're going to click on that. What that'll do is give you this window here. And as you can see, it has a big list of different apps that can run in the background while you're just regularly using your computer. I recommend basically unchecking anything and everything that you don't use all the time. So we're just going to do that right now and I'll just remove all these ones that aren't really useful, that I don't need just because they use resources that we don't want them to use. Nvidia control panel, you want to leave that one on. That one's really important for gaming and stuff. So all these other ones we're just going to close out. You can even uncheck this, let apps run in the background, but I think it's okay to, to keep that on as long as you only have a couple selected. There's a few things we must clear also that may be running in the background or be gathering in the background that can potentially cause Fortnite to crash or to hang and close unexpectedly. So what those files are are temp files. So to find those, we need to click this magnifying glass again, type in percent sign, temp, percent sign. It'll find this folder here. We're gonna open that. And then basically just everything in here, we're gonna go ahead and delete. Don't worry, because they're temp files, they're made to be stored temporarily and are totally fine with deleting, so don't be too worried. You can do Control A, or you can just click up here at Select All, and then you're just gonna go ahead and delete them, and then press the Delete sign on your keyboard. You'll need administrator approval to be able to do that. So hit Continue here, and it'll clear all of them up for you. There will be some that are running in the background that are unable to be closed out. This is just because they're still being used. Just skip those for now, that's totally fine. Okay guys, so that cleared out all the temp files that we could. There's still a huge page of them. These are all ones that are still being used. So just don't worry, worry about that for now. Let's go ahead and close out this window. There's also a hidden, um, there's a, is it like a hidden temp folder that we can also do this for? Just hit run here. So once you type in run, then in this little window, you're gonna type in temp and then hit okay. This actually opens a brand new temporary folder here. This is a completely different one. These are the same thing we need to do. These are Windows temp files. So we're just gonna do Control A and delete, wherever delete is. Continue and go ahead and skip the ones that it won't let you delete. So 
This can solve a lot of Fortnite crashing errors. Once you've done that guys, just go ahead and empty out your recycle bin. It should only take like a minute or two. So at this point you can go ahead and try Fortnite, but if it hasn't fixed your issues yet, that's okay, stay tuned. We got a couple other options that should help with fixing it. Okay guys, so for the next step, we're gonna delete the Fortnite game logs and crashes errors by going into there manually and just clearing these out. So what this looks like is you go to this little magnifying glass again, you type in percent sign local app data, another percent sign, that'll bring up this folder here. We're gonna find Fortnite game. Don't worry if you have a nine down here, that's for a different thing that we do, but go into your regular Fortnite game folder, go into saved, and then we're gonna look for logs. So if you have logs here, you're just gonna open it, select everything in here, and feel free to just delete that. These are just logs, they do get refreshed and deleted all the time, but this is just gonna manually help with these errors. So go ahead and, and back out of there, and once you've done that, if you have crashed in here, which likely you will if your game has crashed, there'll be a saved um, folder in here for crashed. Clear everything out of crashed if you have that folder. We actually don't have it here, so we can just move on to our next step. Another thing we wanna do is go ahead and make sure our game is set up in game mode. Some people aren't aware that Windows 10 actually has a built-in mode for gaming. You just type in game mode in your search bar um, on your Windows 10 and then you'll see the setting here. It says game mode settings and just make sure this is on. It's really as simple as that, but this can actually help a lot. Just make sure that's on and you're good to go. The next thing we wanna go ahead and do is just verify Fortnite in the Epic Games launcher. So what that looks like again, you're gonna come down here and go to Epic Games, just type in that in, that in and then you'll get the launcher up here. Um, then we're gonna go into library and under your settings options for Fortnite, click those three little dots and just go to verify. What this does is it makes sure there's no like broken updates or things that are like broken in the game and it just tests it to make sure that it's basically um, like repaired and that there's no errors detected with the game. Um, it basically just makes sure there's no errors in the game files. So this is a really important step as well. If none of this works, the next thing we need to do is just update your game drivers, uh, your game graphics card drivers. So to do that, you'll either have an NVIDIA graphics card or an AMD graphics card. And depending on what you got, you'll need to open a new window and once you got this window, just type in NVIDIA graphics driver. Um, you can type it in like that, or you can go to AMD graphics drivers, uh, whatever. Just type that in, and then it's the same thing for them. Just go to their site. You're going to have to search your graphics card up here, and just type in whatever it is. Or actually, you can probably find it in its drop down here. But anyways, guys, you're just going to update the drivers. I'm going to update it for NVIDIA because that's what I got. It just makes sense, right? So we go here, go to download drivers, and now we're going to select which graphics card we got. So once you got it all filled out in here, just go ahead and search. And then you're just going to click download here. You'll get this little window, just hit yes. And you'll get this little window, you just hit OK. And then you wait about three decades. You'll get this screen here, just basically hit next on everything. Really, it just, it doesn't really matter what you select if you do custom or express, just so that way you get the latest drivers downloaded to your computer. So after you guys have done all those steps, those should have solved your Fortnite crash errors. Um, if it hasn't fixed it, the only last option I can really give you, and I know it's kind of a nuke option, which kind of really sucks, is just reinstalling Fortnite. Only do that though if you only have the crashing errors in Fortnite. If it's crashing in a bunch of other games you guys play, like Rocket League or Minecraft or whatever, then don't do that step because we know it's not related to Fortnite. In that case, you might need to do a clean install with Windows 10. But yeah guys, hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, smash a like on it and I appreciate you guys so much for watching till the end. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out for now.